Shugaba Muhammadu Buhari ya saka hannu kan dokar taimakon juna wurin yakar masu laifi wannan dokar za ta aiki ne kan masu aikata laifi a kasar ta Najeriya da ma kasashen Ketare Sabuwar dokar za ta fara aiki ne daga ranar 20 ga watan Yuni shekara ta 2019 Shugaba Muhammadu Buhari ya saka hannu kan dokar ne domin inganta yaki da rashawa a Najeriya da ma kasashen Ketare Rundunar sojojin Najeriya ta kafa dokar hana sayar da man fetur a jarkoki a jihohin Arewa guda uku wanda hare haram Boko Haram suka yi waita cikin su kakakin rundunar sojojin Ado Isa ya bayyana haka a wani jawabi ya ce shawarar ta zo ne saboda magance samun ya waitar hare haram Boko Haram a cewar rundunar ta soje Ministan ce ne kaya a kasar Ghana Alan Kerimanten ya ce Ghana za ta karbi bashin dala miliyan 75 daga bankin duniya don bunka sa wuraren shakatawa na kasar a cewar sa ofishin harkokin kasashen Burtaniya ya bada kyautar dala miliyan 20 ga kasar Ghana a matsayin wani bangare na kokarin samar da ayyukan wuraren shakatawa Shugaban kasar Burtaniya Muhammad Abdul Aziz wanda wa'adin mulkin sa ya zo karshe ya bayyana cewa yana alfahari da nasarorin da ya samu a cikin shekaru 10 da yayi akan karagar mulki Shugaban ya kara haske kan son ci gaba da bunkasa makamashi a kasar don fitarwa zuwa kasashen makwabta Ranar sha hudu ga watan Yuni ne Sohon Prime Minister kasar Britaniya a Benin kuma a bokin hulda na kungiyar South Bridge Lionel ya shiga committee cibiyar harkokin kasuwanci ta babban bankin Afrika da hannun jarin sa dake kasar Togo mai taken Le Togo Central a lokacin taron tsohon manajan babban asusun zuba jaruruka a kasashen Turai ya bada kyauta mai tsoka ga kasar ta Togo cewar sa Togo na kan gaba akan abun da ya shafi samar da tsaro da kuma bunkasa tattalin arziki a je ne hukumar kula da yara ta majalisar dinkin duniya wato UNICEF ta gargadi gwamnatin kasar Kamaru akan yanayin da yankin Anglophone yake ciki kakakin ta UNICEF Toby Frika ta bayyana cewa kimanin mutane miliyan 13 ne suke bukatar tallafin gaggawa a yankin kuma mutane na ci gaba da shiga wani hali a dalilin yawan hare-haren da yan ta'addan Boko Haram suke kaiwa a yankin gwamnatin kasar Côte d'Ivoire ta ce sakamakon tallafi da aka baiwa kananan yara a kasar ta Côte d'Ivoire ya karu daga kashi 24 da digo takwas cikin dari a karshen watan Maris na shekara ta 2018 zuwa kashi 43 da digo shida cikin dari na karshen watan Maris a shekara ta 2019 wanda ya karu da maki wurin 18 da digo takwas cikin dari bisa ga bayanan hukumar kasar Shugaban kungiyar Orange ta Gabas ta Tsakiya ya sanar da cewa kamfanin su yana shirin zuba hannayen jari a kasar Mali a karshen wannan shekara ya bayyana hakan ne ga manema labarai tun ranar 19 ga watan Yuni shekara ta 2019 a karshen ziyarar da ya kai a Bamako Kasar Turkiya ta yi sanadiyar kai harin ta addanci a Burkina Faso wanda yi sanadiyar mutuwar mutane da dama ranar Juma'ar da ta gabata ma'aikatan harkokin waje na kasar sun bayyana cewa harin ta addancin ya faru ne a yankin Tongomayel dake arewacin kasar sun kuma mika ta aziyar su ga gwamnatin kasar A jiya ne shugaban kasar Gambia Adama Baru ya jagoranci sanya hannu kan yarjejeniyar wasu kudaden 
na dalar Amurka har miliyan 92.5 tsakanin kasar ta Gambia da takwararta kasar Saudiya mataimakin shugaban kasar na na Saudiya Dr. Khalid S Al-Khudairi tare da ministan kudi na kasar ta Gambia Mumbari ne suka rattaba hannu a kan yarjejeniyar tsakanin kasashe guda biyu Majalisar Sojojin Sudan ta bayyana cewa kasar Sudan na cikin zaman lafiya da kwanciyar hankali tun lokacin da ta yi kira ga kungiyoyin samar da zaman lafiya ta yammacin Afrika don tattaunawa akan abunda ya shafi yanayin da kasar take ciki Hukumar kula da jiragen sama ta Tripoli babban birnin kasar Libya ta sanar da sake dawowar aikin jiragen sama zuwa filin jirgin kasar bayan dakatar da shi na sa'o'i kadan a dalilin yawan tashin tashin hankula dake faruwa a kasar hukumar ta bayyana a cikin wata sanarwa da ta fitar a yanar gizo cewa dakatar da zirga zirga jiragen sama na kimanin sa'o'i biyu an sake bude filin jiragen sama don karbar jiragen kasar Turkiya musamman daga Istanbul Jiragen ruwan kasar Libya sun ce to motoci biyar dauke da mutane 199 masu tafiya ba kan ka'ida ba a arewa maso yammacin gabar Tripoli hukumomin Libya na tabbatar da shirye-shiryen sun kamo duk wani abin da yake a cikin kasar da ba kan ka'ida ba da kuma hukunta shi tare da gabatar da shi a gaban kuliya dan karbar sakamakon abin da ya aikata Sakatarin Majalisar Dinkin Duniya ya nada Yaqub Alhilu a matsayin mataimakin wakilin Majalisar Dinkin Duniya a kasar Sudan kakakin babban sakatarin na Majalisar Dinkin Duniya Stephen Dukrik ya bayyana hakan a wani taron manema labarai a headquarters Majalisar Dinkin Duniya dake Birnin New York.